right before the video begins, we are doing a giveaway at the end of this month. So if you want to enter, you have to be subscribed, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, and then drop a comment so we know you entered. Only a few days left, so enter for your chance to win. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning back in for more Overwatch news. As you know, the regular season of Overwatch has ended, confirming the teams that will advance to the season playoffs and play in the tournament. The top six finishers all have a spot in the playoffs, while those finishing in 7th through 12th advance to the play-in tournament, from which the top two will round out the final two playoff spots and have a chance to win part of the $3.5 million prize pool. Now for Overwatch World Cup. Team USA has released who will be representing us, Rockus of Team Outlaw and Moth of Team Shock. Congrats to both of you and good luck. Now although we don't have a DPS or tank lineup, Overwatch USA head coach Aaron Arrow Atkins said 30 players were invited to participate in the 4 week 222 lock trial process, where the coaching staff and committee evaluated player skill, adaptability, communication, leadership, and teamwork. So they are not taking this lightly and rest assured that the best player will be filling these roles. Also in the news, Overwatch has released something called the Overwatch Workshop. It is a simplified game scripting system that allows players to create a script to add rules and play unique play conditions, not including the ones that are already in place. Anything from movement, damage, to how the abilities work can now be modified. One popular mode already developed is Molten Floor, where any player on the map burns when they touch the ground. This is going to be big for custom games and the game in general. Alright, well that's all the news I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon to never miss a post, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.